has gone. Angelo Esposito. This is Sports Center. Two great hockey nations await the outcome of this. All eyes on the nation's capital as Team Canada battles a familiar foe for the World Junior title. They score! P.K. Subban! Meanwhile, the Swedes fight for revenge after losing last year's final game in overtime. Marks from down, and Hedman's throwing punches. So the temperature ratchets up a couple more degrees. Canada and Sweden for the gold. The last step in the drive for five. Canada has the first goal, but back comes Sweden. What a theater on this Monday night. Sports Center. Now. Thank you, John Tavares. Hello, Canada. This is Sports Center. I'm Darren Detition. She is Jennifer Hedger. We are glad that you tuned in. You know, it didn't matter where you turned today. Everybody was talking about the gold medal matchup. Here is this Canadian team. It's captivated everybody, played in our country, in Ottawa, going up against the Swedes. You know, all this anticipation. You can feel it yourself. You imagine, how are they going to deal with it? Well, this? this is not a seven-game series. This is one game for all the marbles, and it all comes down to this. Tonight in Ottawa, the Canadians pulled out a miracle against the Russians just to get here. They're going for their fifth straight gold in front of a packed house at home while Sweden looking to exact revenge for a crushing overtime defeat 12 months ago. It's a rematch of the gold medal game from last year. Canada, Sweden for gold at the World Juniors. The, the adrenaline is pumping. Very first shift. Angelo Esposito, big hit down low. That'll force a turnover. Chris DiDomenico stopped. Then after the whistle, John Tavares gets hit in front, giving a man advantage to the best power play unit in the tournament. They whack away and mark some skill down. They score! P.K. Subban! 38 seconds in, the Canadians are on the board. It's a huge goal. And it gives Canada a very early 1-0 lead. Later, the Canadians breaking in. Patrice Cormier hits the Swedish defender into Jakob Markstrom. He does his best flip-flop. Little bit of an embellishment there by the Swede. Maybe get a little rattled later. The Canadians with the power play. Tyler Ennis, a glorious chance. He can't put it into the open net. Canadians, though, refusing to let up. Zach Boychek feeds it to Cody Hodgson. The goal light goes on, but the Canadians can't score. They've been off to shaky starts in this tournament, but not tonight. Canada absolutely relentless in a great opening period. Canada does lead this gold medal game after one. They're doing it in front of their leader, Stephen Harper, the prime minister of the country, in front of our brave troops across the seas in Kandahar. And finally... In the presence of Dana Tyrell, he could not play for Canada because of a knee injury in attendance tonight. Over three minutes into the second, Angelo Esposito, lots of energy, chases after the puck, collides with Markstrom. Victor Hedman goes after Esposito, Markstrom falling all over the place. There's no penalty called on the play. The temperature ratchets up a couple more degrees. It's on now. It's on now, big time. And then just minutes later... Now Esposito trying to center it. Runbad lost his stick. Esposito scores! Angelo Esposito! Esposito's best game of the tournament taking place tonight. Because it's a beautiful move and a beautiful Bad goal. The Canadians are out in front 2 0. Oh, the physical play gets ramped up to another level. Patrice Cormier gets called for roughing, and on the delayed penalty, Markstrom tries leaving the net. Stefan De La Rivera, look out. He runs him over. The Canadians all over the Swedish netminder, and after the bump, Markstrom goes after, goes after Della Rivera. Rivera at center ice. Both this players will get offsetting minors and Markstrom colliding with every Canadian he sees. Now they're into the ice. Up David Rumball comes cutting in behind the D. Dustin Tokarski covers up and judging by the reaction in the pile of Thomas Hickey looks like a dog bit his finger. <laughs> Maybe it was a sweet. Someone did. No calls made. Very late in the period. Tukarski gets snowed and bumped by David Alstrom. So that's going to bring in a crowd. These two, no love loss between them whatsoever. Late in the period, Michael Backlund gets called for interference, meaning the Canadians will get a power play to start the third period. And here we are. Backlund's in the box. Again, having a look, being shadowed by Gustafson. And this is Hodgson. Hodgson shoots, goal! How good has this power play been? Cody Hodgson rips his fourth. The Canadians 
beginning to run away with this one later. Oscar Moeller breaks in on the power play, but Tarski Sprouls just manages to get a glove on it. He'll keep that puck out of his net midway through the frame. Yolkam Anderson will break the seal. Tarski gets beaten short side. Goes off Thomas Hickey sticking in. That cuts the lead to two. The Swedes pull Markstrom with under two minutes to go. They're trying to get it close. But the hero from the semis, Jordan Eberle, with the dagger into the empty net. And this seals the deal for Canada. And in Canada's capital, they'll count down to five. has been an incredible ride for this young Canadian team and the ride is over. They beat the Swedes for their fifth straight gold medal. Yes, Cody Hodgson and John Tavares topping the tournament and scoring both with 16 points. Canada now 3-0 in the gold medal game versus Sweden since 1996. Dustin Tokarski in his best game with the tournament, stopping 39 of the 40 Swedish shots. We've got much more from Ottawa. James Duthie has more with our Hockey Insiders.